my back two for more function. Today we're going to do a coolant bypass and the Genesis scoop. Um, you can do this on multiple vehicles. Uh, most modern cars with electronic throttle bodies are looping coolant through it to keep it in the winter months from seizing. Um, basic uh, mod is just to loop the hoses, one back to the coolant, one back to the uh, throttle body, and then you don't have that high temperature coolant running through it. Keep your IATs down to help you run a little better. Just remember if you live in cold areas, once it starts to maybe get to about 40 degrees, you might want to switch it back. Uh, just in case you have any issues with the throttle body season up. But we're going to see uh, what kind of temperature differences we can get. Alright, so we got about 150 or so degrees. I'm trying to focus on the side of the throttle body where the coolant loops through. About 155, 160 we'll say. Um, that's with it running. We've only done idle. Uh, I got it up to temperature at idle, all the oil temp and cool temps up to temperature. Um, I don't want to drag on it too hard, because this will be the minimum temperature we see. It's only going to get hotter from here. So, about 155, we're going to switch the uh, hoses around, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. Alright, we are just about ready to change these hoses over, and uh, got it cooled down a bit and more than likely it wasn't already even that entirely hot I mean it was up to temp and everything's fine but just do remember when you're like at the track drag strip whatever hot days those numbers are gonna be magnified and the coolants gonna be running through at almost probably around 200 degrees so this is gonna be a cheap basically free mod um, for your car. Now if you wanted to you could just take the hoses off and plug the ports but it's just much easier just to route the hoses that way it's so much easier just to pop it right back. But uh, let's just go ahead and uh, get with it. And it's pretty much that simple. We get that hose routed there. Not really a kink in it. It's close, but it's not actually kinked. And then we have the top hose there. Sorry. Right here. Routed down there. So let's button it all back up. Get it back up temp. And see what we got. All right, everybody, we're back. We got the uh, hose looped here, hose looped there going to the throttle body. And like I said, this is just idle. So we're not running it down the road either way. Not before we did the switch, not after we did the switch. Um, we've idled for about 15 minutes, both times going from, I would say outside temp around 70 degrees. And, um, numbers are pretty cool um, now again the temperatures are going to go up once you start running the car but this is for more of that waiting in the staging lane getting ready to make your drag pass or getting ready to go out on the track you know whatever you may do autocross you know road course whatever um, this is really where that's going to shine is that pass you're getting ready to make um, let's just dive right into it and to show you that we are up to temp I didn't think about doing this before and I apologize but as you see the throttle body was 155 degrees so the temperature is up and my fans actually just kicked on um, but this is the upper radiator hose you're looking at 181 degrees so we are warm um, but let's go ahead and dive into that throttle body 
And like I said, we're going to go right to the side where we were before. And we're looking at 108. Try not to get on the intake manifold. Let's just say 115. You know, try to go in the middle. Um, that's around 40 degree drop. Now, like I said, this is idle, and I can guarantee you this is idle. Then probably got a little bit warmer than before we did it. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's hot. Um, I mean, this is this is great news here. Now, I know people have already done it. People have done it on YouTube, and that's kind of where I actually got the idea from. But I wanted to do idle temperature. Now, of course, once you start running the car and the air starts flowing through the intercooler and everything, it's going to warm up. But, I mean, this is a free mod that you just cannot beat. You know, definitely do this. Even if you're going to do it the day you go to the track. Just to go out there, help with heat soak, go out there and make a good run because you can always go and let the car sit for, you know, a little while, get it cooled down. But then sometimes you're stuck in the staging lane longer than you want to, you know. Something happens to a car or the line's pretty steep, but they still want you and your cars running to get through the line. This is where this mod's going to come through. So thanks for checking it out, and uh, let me know what you think.